that guy takes himself a bit seriously. <laughs> wondering lately does it seem weird to you that we work for a guy named dr. Judas how do you mean well I mean for starters he's named dr. Judas dr. Adolf Judas not exactly names that inspire trust <laughs> I guess I never thought about it that way I mean I understand that in our line of work being able to trust your employer is a luxury that very few are afforded but seriously Adolf Judas? Doctor? Fuck you, man. I'm being serious. I don't know. I think trust is overrated. I'd rather work here than go back to working heavy machinery just for the simple comfort of knowing I can trust my boss. Oh, don't get me wrong. I love my job. It's just... There used to be so much more to villainry, you know? And old school villains. The kind of villains my dad worked for. They believed in something. They had solid goals that they were trying to achieve. Be it robbing Fort Knox, or conquering the planet by constructing a super laser on the moon. The moon, yeah. Villains today, they only really care about two things. Chaos and anarchy. Kill the hero, destroy the city, and then let humanity destroy itself until there's nothing left. I mean, what's the point? I don't really see how that affects us, though. I mean, we make really good money, got a decent medical plan, and... And what does it matter what the head honcho is getting up to? All we have to do is shoot Captain Apollo on sight. If you can, that dude's fast like a freak. Yeah, dude. I heard he killed like 200 people on the moon back in the 70s. Rumors say it took him like 20 minutes. He did. Uh, my, my dad was one of them. Shit, I'm sorry, man. He was working I... for the cosmonaut. Captain Apollo showed up one day with no warning and killed everyone. It was a massacre. And he got a medal from the president for it. Makes me sick. That's the, that's the nature of being a villain, man. No one's gonna take our side. Well, but we're not villains. I mean, we're just everyday, blue collar working stiffs trying to get by just like everyone else. Just like my dad and his dad. So what? Who cares if we're the gas jockeys of evil, you know? Well, nobody. That's exactly my point. I mean, we could be killed on the job at any given moment, and no one is ever going to care. But that's the risk we take. It's part of the job. That doesn't make it right. Hey, scientist, what do you think? Do people care when superheroes kill henchmen? I guess not. But I don't think they're really supposed to. It's sort of the nature of the job. High probability of death comes with the territory. Sorry, fellas. Yeah, well, that's easy for you to deal with. You're the scientist. Nobody ever tries to kill the scientist. I was kidnapped seven times last year. Oh, shit. Really? Government agents are constantly kidnapping me and torturing me for secrets. That's awful, man. Well, at least no one's trying to kill you, right? I have a peptic ulcer from living in constant fear. Am I cleared for entry? Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Poor guy. Poor guy? He's got it so easy. If he wanted to, he could defect at any given moment. Full salary compensation, witness protection program, everything. <laughs> Maybe I should defect. Oh, try it. They'll lock you away in some nowhere prison while you'll end up getting kingpinned by some dude who looks like Wilson Fisk. Holy shit, dude. I was kidding. You're getting way too worked up over this. I am not worked up! All I'm saying is, this job has a lot of downsides that people don't always consider. So quit then. Find another job. You're a college boy. You should be employed in no time. I majored in philosophy. <laughs> Good choice. A lot of money in that sector. Well, what about you then, huh? Why don't you quit? A, I love this job. And B, my wife and I just had a kid and I can't afford to be switching careers right now. Wait, you had a kid? Yeah. When did this happen? A few months ago. That's awesome, man. A, a boy or a girl? Oh, a girl, girl. Her name is Astrid. Wow. 
She's beautiful. Why didn't you tell me sooner? Oh, I don't know. I didn't think it was a good idea with the nature of her job and everything. And I wanted to tell you after I discussed it with Lisa. Discussed what? Dom. Dom, Dom, Dom. We would love for you to be Astrid's godfather. Oh my god! Yes, yes, of course I will! <laughs>